Now I knew how to get Mullah. One true shot from the flak tower to his command tower. But the Russians had closed in, cutting me off from my designated vantage point. I'd have to cross the front line, past the attacking Reds, and infiltrate one of the most heavily defended fortresses in Berlin. This is what I trained for. Just me, my rifle, and a target. Alright, so what is going on guys? It's been a while since I've done an episode, I do apologize. But, um, I guess in the section of why it took so long, I've just kind of been doing other things. I've been kind of, you know, getting you guys out, my life story and stuff like that. And I've been really enjoying that. I don't, or at least I hope you guys have as well. But when it comes down to the main gist of it, that's something I plan to continue as long as you guys continue watching it. And this, we will actually be approaching the end. Hopefully this weekend with this, I'm going to push really hard tonight and... Everything should be a lot of fun. I look forward to, you know, obviously beating the game, but I also look forward to getting your guys' response. I hope you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am. I know it's not the most, you know, different thing in the entire world, but it's just a different series, and I think it definitely has a place that belongs on my channel, because I think it would be a lot of fun. Oh my god, what the fuck am I gonna do? You don't think this guy... There's no way. Come on. Really? Wow. Alrighty, big boy. You dead. Alright, let's keep pushing up. We're gonna be as quiet and sneaky as possible because that's the key to success, especially when playing a game like this. But at the same expense, you know, it's always a good idea to maybe enjoy the little things in life. But... Yeah, guys, that's really about it. I've really been enjoying doing this series. I think this is probably one of my most entertaining things that I've done in quite a while. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love commentaries. I love all that. I love speaking to you guys through a microphone. But, you know, there's just nothing that's a little bit more on the par level of how I interact and how I react to certain situations than, you know, obviously doing something of this configuration. Alright, we're gonna be nice and sneaky. We got some engagements going outside. Some bitches are just getting slayed. But, uh... Yeah, let's get a sniper at now. Alrighty. And you are motherfucking dead. Fuck me. Terrible shot. That was even worse. Okay. Alright, let's take, let's take a breath here. Let's uh, regain our honor after, you know, missing that shot multiple times. And I always think that's funny when I come back and play a game like this. I'm totally not used to the recoil patterns. I'm not used to anything about this game. And that's with a lot of titles. That's not just Sniper Elite. But, I mean, you can put that into action with anything that you guys play. You guys can probably or have seen me play other games that are relevant to sniping or using any specific weapon. I mean... It's crazy. It's just crazy that my aim can go that quickly. It can just go and come back, disappear, and um, sometimes it just doesn't return. Alright, what the f- Well, hey there, buddy. What are you doing down there? <laughs> you're so cute. But you're dead now, so I guess that doesn't matter, but... Alright. I feel like there's somebody else. I can hear you speaking, but I don't hear you. We're going to go MP40 on this bitch because I have a really bad feeling that there'll be some enemy tangos. Nope, nothing back here. Just looked like something was going to be back here. I mean, there's a little door, and it's kind of just how the stuff functions out. But if you guys are watching this on the release date, you know, on Friday, I want you guys to know that I will be doing something during the weekend. I would love if you guys would want to come out. It's going to primarily be on Xbox, but I'm going to try my best to get a copy of Black Ops 2 for... PlayStation 3 and I can't really give you guys a whole lot of information because I don't want to say something and then not be able to deliver but from the sound of it I put a lot of thought into it I've spent many hours at work you know thinking of exactly how I want to do this I've set up all kind of configured options and I think it's probably gonna be something that you guys enjoy so if you guys are on the selected platforms you would like to come out and participate in the event it would be awesome. I need about 17 people, so, you know, that's a lot of people, or at least it sounds like that on black and white paper, but, uh, just depending on how many of you guys show up, holy fuck you. Don't sneak up on me, don't sneak up on me. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Fuck off, Jesus, dude. Well, that got really bad really fast. Like, I didn't even get a chance to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one before shit got real. Just kind of a 
blew up in my face, which I'm not used to that. I'm not used to shit just like self-destructing right in front of me, but the fuck sees me. Well, hey there, buddy. What are you doing up there? What are you doing up there, buddy? I see you. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, man, that's like my notion right there when I see stupidity at its finest. It's just like, man, I gotta, gotta give credit. You know, you gotta... Gotta give perks to the guys that just make this game look so funny. And I know it's AI, I know we're not playing on the super most difficult setting in the entire game, but it's always funny. I mean, I always get a good kick out of it. And I think you guys probably get a kick out of the AI being about as intelligent as it possibly comes to the online service. You just shot your teammate. Is that a barrel? Yeah, buddy. Oh, I didn't kill him. Really? Come on. Why are you gonna put this stuff in the game if it doesn't kill anybody? That just defeats the entire purpose. Alright, we're gonna... Fuck you, dude. Man, that's what happens when you wait too long with your... Try to steady your stuff, and that was a dope shot. But anyway, guys, as I was talking, you know, I'm gonna primarily be on Xbox this weekend. I know in the last episode of my All About Me series, or, you know, where I talk about myself, I give you guys information, you guys, uh, attempt to care, and the primary, you know, functionality of it all funnels out. Do You better not rush this corner. You... Nuh-uh-uh. Nuh... -uh -uh. No fuck you. Terrible aim. Ho 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 ho, this is so not good. This is so not good. It's not even funny how bad this is. Terrible miss, and you are dead. But I'm going to be on Xbox, guys. I'm going to be doing a huge event, and I look forward to it. If you guys want to come out, information is in the description. If you need my gamer tag, if you're already on my friends list, um, I can't really give you an ETA on when I'll be online, probably later during the night, because that's kind of when I tend to get online. But, um, you know... That's just kind of how stuff works, I guess, so I look forward to uh, producing this video for you guys, and I'm really excited to make it. I know I can't really tell you guys, so it's kind of like I'm giving you a strip tease, you know, but um, I think this will be the one video that really, I don't want to say kicks off my channel, because I really appreciate all you guys that are still around, but I think it's going to give me a different perception. I think it's going to give me an edge, and I think that'll be something that... Hopefully you guys enjoy, but at the same expense, I should enjoy it as well, so. Alright. Oh, fuck me. I'm not even going to try for that shot, because what would happen is I'm going to miss, and then I'm going to look like a dumbass, and I don't want to do that. So, let's lay down and get some of our breath calmed down, because it is going nuts right now. That guy should die. We do have a guy in the nest right there, followed by a guy in the other nest that we just saw. And uh, when it comes down to the main gist of it, we should hopefully kill everybody. Go investigate that, because that's always a very smart thing to do. Alright, we should be good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that could have been a collateral right there. Oh, really? Alright, that guy's down, and I think we're probably been caught on to, or not. We actually might get this shot perfectly. It's going to break the neck, which is just a beautiful shot by itself. Just, oh, man. It's like the hugest turn on when you see a neck break. Now, okay, maybe not, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. It's a pretty cool shot, and I'm pretty impressed by it, needless to say the least. So, we do have a guy up here. He's going to be jumping on that MG nest, and then he's going to blow my head off. Because, uh, that's kind of what happens. Holy fucking ass fuck. Eat a grenade. Oh my god. Don't, no, 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 no. Oh, are you kidding me? Worst time to freaking run out of ammo. Like, right when I need it. Man, this is turning out to be a great episode. We've gotten out of situations that are completely non-realistic, and it seems to be working out in our favor. So, I can't complain too much about that. But I can complain that you got shot in the arm, and you survived. Well, hey there, buddy. What are you doing? You're fucking stupid. <laughs> that would be like the worst position. Honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I feel sorry for anybody that ever had to be on those guns. Like, I don't care if they're German, if they're whatever. Those guns were the hugest death trap ever. I mean, they're, they're even today, they're still the biggest death trap. I mean, you think about those guys that sit on top of, like, you know, Bradley's and um, just any tank in general. Like, some poor bastard almost knows that he's gonna get shot off of it it's just sad I mean it honestly is it's just terrible to think that you know out of all the technology that today upholds we can't get something a little bit more secure on top of those things now granted I know you have like APC's Bradley's that 
you know, more nor less you're inside of the vehicle. That's perfectly fine. But we also still have vehicles. We need to understand that, you know, there are vehicles where people literally are exposing their entire body. Like, you can die at any given moment. And I don't know. I'm not too comfortable with the feeling of that. But I guess what are you going to do? All right, we're going to go the pistol, though I hate this pistol because it's a giant sack of shit. But, you know, we're still going to use the pistol because I feel like it'll be my best opportunity to engage the enemies in a circumstance that fits me instead of uh, acquiring to the opposition. I feel like that door opens, but I don't know why. I doubt it does, but I just feel like it. All right, so if I was smart, I would shoot this barrel. I would kill a few bitches. But we might go with a grenade just just to make it fun for you guys. Eat that fucking nade, bitch. Fuck you, and you are dead. Alright, what's gonna happen here is I can totally tell this is gonna get really bad. Because we're gonna get rushed. Don't rush me, bro. Look at this shit. Like, no fucking fear. They just run right at me. Alright, we have no ammo. So it's time to go to our beautiful pistol that literally is absolute horseshit. <laughs> this pistol is just terrible. I know some of you guys will be like, why don't you grab the Colt or something that doesn't suck? And to be honest with you guys, I don't know. I like the silence pistol for the sheer fact of when I'm doing a playthrough or any circumstance that I feel like it makes me a little bit more prone to, you know, fucking up or at least having the ability to engage enemies that maybe normally I wouldn't shoot or I would just go loud. I mean, obviously I can go loud. I can shoot whatever the I want, but 